Symbotic builds and operates fully automated robotic warehouses powered by artificial intelligence. The stock is down more than 60% off its highs. And in this video, I'm going to argue that this is one ridiculously undervalued AI stock that investors should consider adding to their portfolios right now in October. To make my case, I'm going to share with you the company's revenue growth over recent years, its cash flow from operations improvement, its return on invested capital improvement, looking at its prospects next year on revenue and earnings per share, all weighed against its valuation to make my case for why I think this is an undervalued stock to consider adding. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. So like I mentioned at the top of the video, Symbotic stock is down over 60%, 62% to be precise, off its highs it reached in mid-2023. July of 2023 was when it last reached these highs. Now, in recent years, the company's revenue has grown robustly to 1.7 billion, 1.677 billion to be precise. That's up roughly 3x from the 400 million the company generated in January of 2022. As I mentioned in the introduction, the company builds automated warehouses, which is becoming essential for businesses worldwide. The rising costs of labor and the shortages of labor are necessitating shifts towards robotics and artificial intelligence to make operations worthwhile. In the US, I'm seeing over and over again brick and mortar retailers closing down because they cannot keep up with the rising costs. The wages are soaring and then productivity from employees is stagnant or not improving. And so that's not an equation that makes sense for brick and mortar retailers. They need to automate as much as possible and they need to bring down costs as much as possible to remain competitive. Now the company's cash flow from operations turned positive around 2023 and has remained so for several consecutive quarters. 5.12% in the most recent trailing 12 month period. The cash flow from operations has been sustainably positive since early 2023. That means the business is now self sustaining. It doesn't need to go to investors to ask for more capital. Now, if it finds an opportune situation where it can go to investors to raise capital, it might do so, but it doesn't need to. It's not in a position where it needs to go to investors to ask for capital. And that's usually a huge turning point for businesses. It allows them flexibility, sustainability, and it allows them to withstand difficult situations because they don't need to go to investors at desperate moments in time and pay really high cost of capital, which then hinders its growth opportunities. So that's one great factor for Symbotic. While it's still in growth mode, it's doing so while its cash flow is positive. Speaking of the company being in growth mode, the analysts on Wall Street that are following Symbotic stock, they expect the company will grow its revenue by 49% this year and then by another 36% next year. So the company's revenue on the top line expected to grow very robustly. 49 and 36% growth is excellent rates of growth. And this rate of growth, now it might not be this robust for a long time, but I suspect this company will grow for another decade or two. There is so many businesses that need to implement this technology that it's going to take a long time for Symbotic to serve all of these businesses. The good news for investors is that Symbotic has a long backlog, right? It, it's going to take years for Symbotic to fulfill on the contracts it's already signed. Businesses are waiting in line for Symbotic to be able to fully automate their systems. The challenge right now, the main constraint for Symbotic is to be able to get its technology and fulfill its service more effectively, faster, on a wider scale. That's the challenge for the company. Demand is there. They've got the orders. Now the challenge is being able to deliver on those orders to implement and install those systems more efficiently, more effectively, and more broadly. And that will unlock the next layer of growth for Symbotic longer term. Now, 
the company's operating profit margin and return on invested capital are still negative, but they're moving in the right direction really quickly, especially the return on invested capital. You can see the sharp rise in the orange here from negative 80%, now up to negative 8.74%. At this rate, it will be very soon where Symbotic's return on invested capital will turn positive. Similar story with its operating profit margin. While it's negative 8.9%, the number is not a good number, but the trend is excellent, improving from negative 50% in 2022 all the way up to negative 9%. And given the company's expected revenue growth expectations, I wouldn't be surprised if the operating profit margin improves next year. In fact, if we look to those same analysts on Wall Street that are following Symbotic stock, they expect the company will deliver $0.13 cents in earnings per share on the bottom line in 2024, and that will almost triple next year to $0.36 cents per share in 2025. So Wall Street expects this company's earnings per share to turn positive this year and then to make a huge leap forward next year given these revenue growth expectations. And it's likely that these earnings per share will continue improving over the next several years, if not for the next decade. Because like I mentioned earlier, this automation transformation is still in the very, very early stages. And it's probably a decade or two before all companies fully utilize these automation benefits. Now, the big risk right now for Symbotic, well, one of the big risks is it's uh, facing a class action lawsuit filed against Symbotic uh, by shareholders on August 14th. The shareholders allege that they bought Symbotic stock at artificially inflated prices between May 6th and July 29th, and they're seeking compensation for their losses. Now, it's unclear what the outcome of this litigation will be, but it is an overhang on the company, and it can explain why the stock price is down so much in the recent month, month and a half or so since July. Still, those risks have brought down the company's valuation to the cheapest it's been in several years. You can now buy Symbotic stock at a forward price to earnings of just 30, just 30, which I think is ridiculously cheap for a company with its prospects over the next couple of years and its longer term tailwind over the next couple of decades. So I think this is a really attractive artificial intelligence stock that investors can consider adding to their portfolios right now in October. Hey everyone, I'm excited to announce that my book is finally available for sale. I've been working on it for more than a year now, so I'm really excited to finally share this with you now. It goes through my framework for evaluating stocks. Some of you often ask why I like this stock or why I like the other stock, and this framework provides you the things that I look at when I'm evaluating stocks. I've added the link in the description below.